Hello, Fred. Are you having some trouble? Let's see. You've been multiplying the same two numbers and each time arrived at a different answer. I think you need some brushing up on multiplication. Do you want me to help you? All right, let's begin with what you know. Suppose an automobile is traveling along a highway at a steady speed of 65 miles per hour. In three hours, how far will the automobile have traveled? There are two ways to find the total number of miles. One way would be to add the three equal add ends, 65 plus 65 plus 65. A shorter way to find the sum of three equal addends is to multiply. This tells the size of each equal addend. Do you remember what this part is called? Multiplicand, that's right. And what is this part called? It tells how many equal addends. The multiplier. And what is the Answer called in multiplication? Yes, the product. Do you know what you really do when you multiply? Well, let's look at this example again. Let's think of place value. When you say 3 times 5 is 15, you write 5 in the ones place and carry 1. But what you really mean is this. Three ones times five ones equals 15 ones, or one ten and five ones. You put down the five ones and the one ten you keep in your mind. Are you thinking with me, Fred? Fine, let's go on. When you say three times six is 18 and one is 19, what you really mean is this. Three ones times six tens is 18 tens or 108 tens. And you add the one ten you remembered to give you nine tens. So the product is 100, nine tens, and five ones, 195. Now, let's see how you multiply when you have a two-place multiplier. Suppose this is the example, 33 times 65. Let's remember place value. And this time, we'll need thousands. When you multiply 65, or six tens and five ones by three ones, you know the product is one ten and five ones, and one hundred and eight tens. Now to multiply sixty-five by three tens. You think three tens times five ones is fifteen tens, or one hundred and five tens. Three tens times six tens is eighteen hundreds, or one thousand and eight hundreds. Of course, you don't write it out this long way, but usually carry these ones in your head and write the partial products, like this, the short way. So we have two partial products. 195 and 195 tens. Really, 1,000, 900s, and 5 tens, or 1,950. But you can leave off the zero because the second partial product is indented. This puts the 5 in the tens place. Now, to find the total product, you add the partial products. 
The product is 2,145. Now let's see the problem you're trying to solve. You've been delivering newspapers for nearly a year. You've delivered 260 papers a day for 219 days. And you want to know how many papers in all you have delivered. Write out your example again. Now, go ahead with the multiplication. Nine times zero is... No, it isn't nine. It's zero. It's easy to see why. Here is a bag with some marbles in it. But now, there are no marbles, or zero marbles, in the bag. Here are nine bags of zero marbles. How many marbles in all? Nine times zero is still zero. Do you see? Any number times zero is zero. Now let's go on with the example. Nine times six is... 45? That isn't correct. You aren't too sure of the multiplication facts, are you? You will have to learn and think quickly all the multiplication facts if you want to multiply well. Now, let's go on. Nine sixes, or nine times six tens, is... Right, 54 tens. Nine times two hundreds is eighteen hundreds. Wait a minute. Look. Nine times six tens is fifty-four tens. You put down four, but you forgot to carry the five hundreds. Let's try it again. Nine times two is eighteen, plus five is twenty-three. Really, twenty-three hundreds or two thousands and three hundreds. Now let's find the second partial product. One ten times zero is no tens. That's right, but you've put the zero in the wrong place. You forgot to indent. When you multiply by tens, you mark the first figure of the partial product in the tens place. Now go on. One ten times six tens equals six hundreds. One ten times two hundreds equals two thousands. Fine, now go ahead. Two hundreds times zero ones equals zero hundreds. And you place the zero in the hundreds place. Very good. Two hundreds times six tens equals twelve thousands, or one ten thousand and two thousands. Two hundreds times two hundreds equals four ten thousands, plus one equals five ten thousands. And now the total product. So you've delivered 56,940 papers so far. How can you be sure this is the correct answer? Well, one way is to repeat the operation. But I'll show you another method. You can check your multiplication of 260 by 219 by reversing the multiplicand and the multiplier. If you've multiplied correctly, the product of 260 times 219 will be the same as the product of 219 times 260. The two products are the same, so the answer checks. Fred has learned how to overcome his troubles in multiplication, but what about you? Does your multiplication need brushing up? Why not start now?